determined inch by inch to make some progress here. Because everyone on Twitter... Oh, I have to click this. Raves about Pyre. Let's see here. We've done two games thus far. Won both of them. Let's set ourselves free. Hey, the minstrel moved! As you return to the wagon, after triumphing over the faint, you notice Jodariel tense up and frown. Where did he go? Oh, wait, the sleeping guy? The minstrel, he's gone. You see it is true. There is no trace of the lone minstrel who had been lying still in the corner of the wagon all this time. You join the others in search for him outside. What's his deal? You have learned nothing of the lone minstrel, other than what little Hedwin told you of how they found him in the wagon. You sense their concern as they scour the vicinity for him. We'll worry about the minstrel, my friend. You worry about the stars. Wherever they guide us, we're going. Let's seek out our destination! I don't really know if I have proper options with choosing a direction. It seems fairly linear thus far, but it's kind of fun cinematically to imagine I have a direct hand in this. Um, guess it's here. Goal? Or no it isn't. Haub! I love the design. Everyone. We're headed back east, all the way across the valley. Towards the cairn of Haub, then. Okay. That's right. We have to risk it. What if that minstrel guy doesn't turn up by then? We shall find him, on this night or another. They continue searching for some time. However, Minstrel is nowhere to be found. Uh, well, something's going on in the wagon. Someone feeling chatty? Hedwin? After having thwarted the fate in the right last night, you find Hedwin off on his own. You sense he wants to talk about your decision to exclude him from conducting the right. Uh, I don't think he'd have any drama about it. I guess we'll have some tough choices to make before all this is over, my friend. Just been thinking about that. Does that mean I have to choose which three are actually set free? I guess I haven't thought about that. If Hedwin's excluded from a game, does he not get to reap the freedom rewards? I'm glad you let the others go instead of me doing the right. I mean that. All the more since we succeeded. I don't know what's more intense, participating in the right, or just watching from the sidelines. Anyway, thank you for checking in. I'm off to go make sure we're ready to move. He departs to check on things outside. You sense that he has no misgivings about what transpired, and is more concerned at present about the missing mis minstrel. That sounds about right. I wonder if Ruki or Jodariel would get super mad at us if we excluded them. Um, what's the star thing about? I guess I can't really interact with it. The bundle of sticks Gay insisted on hanging in the rafters. She believes it brings good fortune. A scribe catcher, eh? There is still no sign of the lone minstrel, 
Although Jodariel tracks potential signs of movement east the same way you are headed, you consider where to search for him. Um, fall flat. The south route across the Jomer Valley is riddled with barren rock and bone. Hedwin thinks the missing minstrel could have taken the route opposite to the one you took. Uh, that doesn't help me. I don't know what that means. Glue Hive. The north route across the Jomer Valley passes the remains of the Hive Titan. Jodariel believes the missing minstrel must have taken the same route you took earlier. What was the same route? I did, don't have any memories. I'm, I have the worst short-term memory. Um, I'm curious what the remains of a Hive Titan looks like. Minstrel aside, if Jody loves me for it, she loves me. Let's go to Glue Hive. This is a majestic landscape. Something about it reminds me of like Calvin and Hobbes mixed with something. As you make your way through the barren wastes of Glue Hive, all there is to show for the missing minstrel is a deeper scowl on Jodariel's face. Get him up. Blast. I felt certain that he would have taken our same route to the spring of Shomer. It's alright, Jody. He could have gone anywhere. Likely there was nothing to be found either way. We should keep moving. You pick up bits and pieces of the minstrel's significance to your fellow exiles. He was there when they first discovered the Black Wagon, but they speak little more of it for now. That was a cute little loop you did there. Stop the wagon. What? How come? Because of her. They're coming! They're coming for us! We have to be ready! We have to! Does she mean what I think she means? I believe so. Your fellow exiles scramble to prepare the wagon for whatever is out there. Once you help them settle in, perhaps you can learn more of their source of concern. Prepare for the night. What's going on? We need to be ready for something. What? <laughs> they are coming for us. <laughs> they fear the scribes. They fear the scribes. I know they do. Which are the gods ish? <laughs> What's she talking about? What's going on? Howlers. Lots of them. Then what are we gonna do? They fear the scribes! Okay, gay, you kinda... Calm yourself, gay. We shall give them reason to fear us as well. We'll use the raiments and the books. Indeed. One of us can draw them out, under the reader's watch. It shall be just like one of our rights. Hedwin turns to you. It seems we need your help in this, my friend. We just need a volunteer to go with you. I will do it, miss. Please, you have to let me. And the scribes, they will protect me. I know they will. Jodariel exchanges looks with Hedwin. Each of them nods at you, as if to signal their approval. Gabe intends to help fend off the howlers. Then let's prepare. I don't know what to expect. That howling sound, it means... it means... They're here. Oh, by the scribes, they're here. Uh. Fend them. Oh, it's kind of like a mini game. I just whip them. Okay. 
No! Go away! Oh, a sprint with R2, that's right. Okay. Uh, yeah. Power casting? What does power casting mean? What does power casting mean? I'm gonna have to Google what power casting is. Okay. Pyre, what is power casting? Ugh. Not tire. Okay. So during the two phases of the Howler Knight, there is text on the screen that details the text in hand. It's supposed to teach you about power cast and power jump. On the minor Release the button when you and your aura flashes, and you it will go further. <gasps> okay. Okay, so it's just having to be fully charged. Which is very hard to do. Yes, it is. It'd be nice if there was a visual cue outside of it. Ooh! This is hard. Hey! No! More? I'm just getting the swing of it. More? I think there's many more? Oh, here they come! Here they come! Okay. Well, let's get him, gal. <sighs> oh, fuck that! Come on. Vanish, vanish, vanish. Yep, here they come, gay! <sighs> Quit it. Is it over now at last? It is. I think it is. Oh, those poor and wretched beasts. Huh? Just then, Gay spots something creeping towards her. <gasps> Who? What? Hurry! <gasps> Are you gonna actually be a buddy? But it doesn't seem like that at first. Are you the minstrel? Who knows? The howling subsides as your fellow exiles scramble out to check on Gay. You find her in one piece, along with an unfamiliar little face. Hey, Tropy! Screaming! <laughs> Isn't he the best? Can we keep him? Scree-hoo! You sense a depth of experience in this creature, at least judging by drive imp standards. In fact, you feel a connection to him. If you concentrate, perhaps you can derive some meaning from his calls and screeches. <sighs> the drive imp seems both excited and frustrated by something. You sense some pattern in the drive him screeches. He seems welcoming of this. The drive him seems to have history with your black wagon. You are beginning to understand him. Are you the minstrel? The drive him recognizes you as the new reader of the night wings. He is pleased to meet you. Well, good. The Drive Imp seems satisfied at having gotten through to you, and you explain to your companions what little you have learned of him so far. No one argues against letting the creature come along. Inside the wagon, the other Drive Imps stare at him with something like reverence. 
Seems to know his way around. Okay, great. Uh, something going on in the wagon? Hey there. You can see the little imp has made himself at home. He rushes right up to you. Uh, you're pleased. He indicates he was able to find you thanks to the swarm of howlers. He has no love of howlers, and they know not to mess with him either. He plans to set up a nest that should ward off any further trouble from them. He looks forward to the road ahead with everyone, and believes it shall be worth it. He seems to be saying he is happy to be back where he belongs, and he urges you to keep going. He bounds off towards his brethren, settled in the wagon's rafters. I do appreciate the little faces he makes. Um... Nothing new otherwise? Goodbye. Licksand! An arid southern pass toward the ominous cairn of Haub. Alright, our buddy's telling us to go there. Hold up. Hedwin orders the, orders the wagon to a halt somewhere in the dry flats of Jomer Valley. There's someone on the road. Be careful, everyone. The figure watching the black wagon from afar approaches, arms spread wide although a hat and cloak conceal the figure's features. Then, the imp rushes out towards whomever it is. I will never make those sounds. The imp is very riled up at the sight of whoever is approaching, though in an almost joyous way. Okay, you're the minstrel! You look interesting. To Izo! He's a venerable drive imp who seems to know the ins and outs of the Nightwing's black wagon. Okay, so you're buddies with the imp. It is good to see you, and you found the others, even faster than expected. I don't know what voice to give you yet. The imp called Tizo appears very pleased. The lone minstrel turns toward the rest of you. Hello, we have not met, but I know who you are, or who you must be. I returned as promptly as I could. Have you walked with the scribes themselves? Because I think maybe you have? Hello indeed. You had us worried there when you took off. I should knock him back into his slumber. I did not aim to cause you such concern. As soon as I awakened, I had to notify my client that the Nightwings have returned. Your client? I, my client, Sandalwood. He is your point of contact, as I understand. You did not find his wagon by mistake. Yeah, is... Oh, we haven't met him. I was wondering if he was that merchant we swapped words with. So, what now? You continue down the path. That is why I am here. When we meet my client, he shall explain. For now, you have a job to do. I assure you that I shall not interfere. But I mean to accompany you. Would that be all right? Hedwin and the others exchange looks. Welcome back, Minstrel. You got a name? Sumdase. I am sometimes called Tarek. It is a pleasure to meet you, Nightwings. He appears to be a traveling musician, yet seems to be connected to the rites. Okay, I was distracted by the difference of font in those cues. I'm like, is that a typo? It is not. The lone minstrel returns to the black wagon with your fellow exiles. Alright, he rejoined us. I guess I can look at the roster? Well, in due time. Is he gonna be our rights buddy? 
I wonder what his deal is. Can he play that instrument? The Cairn of Haub is a foreboding sight. It is here that the next rite is soon to commence. Liaratus? Reader, if you have a moment, once we are settled on these grounds, I wish to speak with you in the wagon, at your leisure. Okay. Oh, we have a page! Rope collar? I guess mm. we'll chat him up first. No, let's save him for last here. He has a white... He chronicles great deeds through song. That's cute. Um, let's view the roster. Is he here? Nope. That's for the best. We're kind of getting... Swimming with people already. Book of rights. Um. Oh, the rope collar. I knew it was a fool's errand, but my liege, he would not listen. He instead insisted to pursue a certain treasure, a celestial orb, freshly fallen from the heavens in the reaches of the downside. He would be a living legend, if only he could learn, or blah, 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 grasp it, whispered in his ear that Kalmer Ropecaller, his elder and most trusted aide, would that I slew that man myself. You know what? I am going to do this, because I can't parse that so easily. His was a simple and yet brilliant ruse, to draw the Emperor farther still from his responsibilities and towards his greed. Thus did the Emperor begin an expedition into the Forsaken Lands. He insisted that he go himself. Mysterious! Okay, so... Does the Emperor have some motives? What's up with that? Um, how much music will it... Let me see. Do I have to unlock it first? Because I don't feel like I've heard a ton of songs. Oh, it won't let me. Okay, that's interesting. Well, get me out of here. I don't care. Oh, I can press L1. Um, so you want to chat? The lone minstrel seems to have situated himself in the wagon. He is very still, not unlike when he was sleeping. Rita, I shall keep this brief, as you shortly have a rite you must conduct. You have read something of the Book of Rites, which means that you may know something of my nature. Ah, uh, you'd think so. On the contrary, you know not what he means, and he soon senses this. Forgive me, for I spoke too soon. Suffice it, I have served the Nightwings for some time. And you sleep for days sometimes, I guess. Conduct the rites with glory, and you shall achieve what you seek. The lone minstrel nods farewell to you, and steps away. All right, well, you're mysterious AF. Looking forward to getting to know you. Yeah. Let's commence the right in a second. Oh, a gushing fry. <laughs> hey, Falcon Ron. Oh, hey, guys. Fancy running into you this side of the sand. So what can I do you for? Ah, yeah. uh, Ron, how'd you make it all this way ahead of us? Oh, come on now, Mr. Greentail. Can't just give up all my business secrets, am I right? What I can do, though, seeing as you've been such a good customer and all, is provide for you a sample of a little something-somethings you might like. Oh, that expression. That belongs in at simple good faces on Twitter. Yeah, check this out. Seeing as you bought that Mooncrest thinger from me last time, why, I'm just thinking you could use this, and I got more if you want. Pinch of Stardust, eh? Raises the rank of certain talismans. That's handy. Thank you. Well, I got a pinch of, pinch of dust. 
can quiet him down, huh? Do I want to buy something first? Oh, is it just to stop his muttering? Humming? Well, anyway... Sure, I'll take another yeah. pinch. It's so cheap. Ha! I know you're gonna like that stuff, guys. It's pretty... Ooh, know what I mean? And if you want some more, now I know just the individual and his dad who can get it. Catch my meaning? Yeah? Just stop by on s some other time. Great taste. Thanks. Lucrative contract. After banishing adversary, the bear gains this one. This many times for it. What's the symbol? You gotta tell me what the symbol means. While carrying the orb, the bear moves faster. Oh, that's expensive. That is two. I'll do some bonus damage. Wait, should I look and see what that other thing is first? Yes, I should. I'm glad I did. I want that. Um, can I equip them here? I'm gonna have Hedwin in again. In case he gets salty. Um, okay, here. Let's jack it up. And it's permanent, right? Or wait, am I lying? Yeah, it seems to be permanent. Um, hers is... Chance to return immediately. 30%. Plus two quickness. I like that one. To 33? Fine. Yep. Night and day, that's what that is. See you guys again sometime soon, maybe, okay? Because I gotta say, you are my favorite customers I had all week. I think I'm channeling the nanny for Falcon Ron for something, for some reason. That's okay. All right, let's commence. <laughs> You and your fellow exiles gather around the sacred site known as the Cairn of Haub, anticipating the hour that the rites are to commence again. All is quiet for a time, and then... From out of nowhere charges in a gangly cur. He stops short and gives you a mighty sneer. <clears throat> Psst. Psst. that's Baka Ashpaws. Real piece of work. Just don't make eye contact. Alright. Hey, Barker. Barker, Ash, pause. Oi, well, would you look at this lot? Even got one of all. Consorting with the two leggers. You're a disgrace there, mate. You realize? Ah, uh, good to see you, Barker. You're looking well. Didn't know you knew about the rights. Oi! I know about a lot of things, my friend. For instance, I know you're gonna be very, very sad after we wipe the floor with you here. Don't know whose back you scratched to earn yourself a spot on the high and mighty night wings there, but I'm gonna make sure you all you regret it. Cause why not? Keep on them. Sounds good. Sounds good. The Cur Barker laughs away as his pack stumbles after him. You hear them howling and cackling as the stars above begin to glow. Well, let's give them a what for. Um, I think when I first played this years ago, I lost this one, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna lose. Okay. Welcome, dear reader. To the splendors of the accursed cairn of Haub. Thanks. You shall find the downside grows less pleasant from this point. But first, there's a tradition to uphold. This Whoa. time you stand against the That's dissidents. Cool. Even now they hunger to defeat you. 
perhaps not simply to regain their freedom, but to deny you yours. As the stars shine down upon you, the pack of curs you stand against this night continue hooting and howling. Oi! Come on, you lot! Let's boil some blood! Then Ruki pulls you aside. Um, look, sister, I don't know how to say this, but I can't go against these guys. Just trust me on this one, okay? You sense he means it. You make a mental note to ask about his history with Barker whenever time permits. It's all right, Ruki. We can take care of them. Begging your pardon, but if you need another to stand at your side this night, I have someone here whom I would recommend. Is it our animal buddy? Do not be coy with us, minstrel. Don the robes if you intend to stand with us. Oh, I did not mean myself. The rights are not for me. I was instead referring to this little one. A creature wearing tiny raiments appears at the lone minstrel's side. Tizo seems to be volunteering to take on your adversaries, the dissidents. Kirama. Absurd. The imp knows the rights. He knows a great deal. So long as the Nightwings stand together, he shall be at their side. Though, you need not take my word for it. Tizo? Our adversaries seem to be preoccupied. Perhaps you might quickly show our comrades what you can do? The little imp peers at you. You sense his connection to the rites as he awaits your guidance. That! Tiso seems excited to demonstrate some of his favorite tricks. Reader? Influencing Tizo may take some getting used to. He is inviting you to try. Well, tutorial me away. Another joins your ranks. Hold square and to flutter. Although, no, it cannot be. Then we shall see what comes of this new partnership of yours. Okay. Hold R2 to zip. Very weirdly. Implode? Oh, so it's like kamikaze stuff? Am I allowed to say kamikaze these days? Well done as ever, Tizo. That. Tiso is happy to lend his support during the rites, if you could use his help. Well then, reader, who shall conduct the rites in the name of the Nightwings? Who well, shall conduct the rites? I won't actually choose him, but I can, huh? That would be really bad for in terms of our dynamic. Um, we'll have Hedwin again. Well, Hedwin. Dare her! And let's give this pal a shot. Tizo. Our adversaries shall be quick. Be ready. Time's up, you swill! Come on, boys! Let's get them! Oh boy. Now begin! <laughs> Okay. Splendid. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ah! No. You douche. Um I'm misinformed. Ah! Oh god, this is so stressful. Playing it. Ah! Fuck. Switch. No. Good. Good. 
Do I have the thing? Who has it? Oh, it's there. <sighs> okay. <sighs> Pass. <sighs> Fling it. Fuck you. Shit. Fuck. You. Ah. Yeah. Go go go. Oh, good. Well, I just panicked. Don't want to lose. Okay. Um, um, fling it. Pass. Pass. Fling. Fuck. Oh my God. Is it? Ah! Oh, this is so stressful. Ah! Oh my god, just do it! Resplendent! Okay, good. Uh, 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 uh. Oh. Pass. Oh, can I hurt people by jumping near them? Yeah! Yeah! Thrust, but oh, that's what she said. Um, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good for me! Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, no, no. That's imploding. I'm not used to Fuck! Didn't see it coming. I'm done. Fuck you! Oh, that makes me so mad. I don't like losing! Okay, Trudorial. I Okay, remember to do that! Fuck! Oh, come on. What? Where'd it go? Whoa! Switch! Whew. Go, go, go! Don't catch it! It was enough of a splash. Alright, you lots. That does it! No more fussing around, right? My boys and me, we're proper angry now! Yeah, of course you are. What's new? Stop it! What's that about? Ah! Now. Your adversary Barker there seems rather shy of the public. I agree. Whatever shall you do against so fierce a foe? I do my best! <laughs> yeah! But a little splash. It's enough of a splash! Okay. Now go Running. On just once more. Eh. Oh my god. I thought I was good. No! Is it kamikaze time? Yes? Okay. Quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it, quit it. Samina! And it is done! Hooray! Nightwings prevail yet again. No I think I lost that um, the first time, so I'm glad say, I did this time. Yay, redemption. The right is complete. Sure is. That ought to show then. Perhaps now they shall learn some humility. Well, well. I'll be a heaping ball of dung, but I just can't believe your shoddy lot showed those the what for like that. Whew. Some words. My boys and I will just have to take you a tad more serious next time. Till then, you just be sure to tell old Rookie Greentail that yours truly, he remembers everything. You hear? 
The right do tend to teach something of trust. Yay! I think I'm beginning to understand something of all this, my friend. What do I want for you, Hedwin? Hedwin games plus 50 more stamina, letting you jump and sprint more often. Ooh, that's pretty darn tempting. It's gonna take a lot to sway me from that. Hedwin and his allies regenerate stamina twice as quickly as usual. Ooh, that affects everybody. Oh. Oh. Wow, I'm swayed. This is... <laughs> us, not me. The Master General reveals his Not strategy. me, us. Ooh. Witness the rites firsthand and be inspired. Enlightenment right. seldom avails itself to simple imps. Tiso feels solemn respect for the rites and all their myriad complexities. Aww. What do you want, Tiso? I, I don't even know. Rites Mastery is unleashing an imp's latent and somewhat terrifying power. More to you than meets the eye, huh? Flights of the Swallow. Rites Mastery is enhancing an imp's utility to the rest of his triumvirate. I like utility! Let's see what happens. Elusive nature. While fluttering or zipping, Tizo, Tizo moves much faster than usual. Okay. Moon sign. If banished, Tizo drops a moon sign allies can instantly transport to from their pyre. Ooh, that gets technical. It, does it work if I'm... Uh, if I implode Tizo? Tis the Try influence it. of the imp scribe. All right. Bye. Until the stars align. Splendid was your guidance of the night wings, reader. Your fellows are fortunate enough to have found one such as you. May you find the freedom that you seek. Ray. Well, this was a quick one today. I have a pal coming over. We're going to watch the other two on HBO Max and a bunch of other shit. Pen 15 soon. I want to see season two. Um, I'll finish this up, though. After defeating the dissidents in a decisive victory, you return to the wagon to recover from the night's ordeal and figure out how best to proceed. Matthew Lamantas. You all right, Rookie? Sorry, kitty, patty. Thanks, Sao Chum. I just need a little time. Didn't count on Barker being caught up in all this. Some got a you. You don't owe him your conscience. You'll sort things out with him. You always do. Hmm. I do not wish to interrupt, but the dark of night is waning. Rita, would you join us outside, please? You find Jodariel and the lone minstrel gazing into the sky above the valley, which is beginning to grow pale. You look towards the heavens, and then you stop! Stop playing this game! That's right. Okay, we're done. Thanks for watching!